hi everyone and welcome back to my channel first of all i took a glass bottle and a round piece of cardboard i will stick this bottle in the center of the cardboard to make the shape for her dress so first of all i took some pieces of cardboard and i will start to stick it with the bottle and the cardboard this is actually going to be the first part for her dress foundation but after i will add more cardboard so here I have covered it like this, just in case they don't comes out from the bottle because it's glass and the hot glue can be cold and comes out. So I will cover it with the masking tape or the paper tape just to secure cardboard. And then here again the same thing, I will start to make the foundation for her body, the basic part with the foil. Then I will add more foil on top of the first one to make the figure for her body. And the neck with the foil as well, which I will stick on top. Here is the styrofoam, which I will use to make her face and head. Uh, then I will draw the face shape and I will cut it from the sides to make it the shape for the face, not a complete round shape. But it was a mistake actually, I used a quite small uh, styrofoam ball after I realized that it is quite small, not same the movie one. So after I will change the head completely. Here where I made the hole with the pencil, I will stick it with the hot glue and I will insert this part into the foil on top of the foil. So here again uh, glue and tissues which I will cover the basic parts of the foil and the paper tape. Here I took a half circle of the cardboard in this shape which I will use to make her dress. I will stick it from the front side which I need to make uh, the red part for her dress. So with the paper tape, I will cover the cardboard with from the back side. Then I took small piece of foil which I will stick here on her waist to make the dress shape. And then I will secure the foil with the cardboard by using some masking tape. Here I have another half piece of cardboard uh, which I will stick on the back side of her uh, dress, the first part of cardboard. So I will stick it on the back side here. And then the same thing again, I will cover uh, all the things 
with the tissues and the glue mixture. Here on the front side of the dress, I will uh, use some red crepe paper. I will stick them with the glue because uh, her front part of the dress is actually red. So I thought instead of using the red, red fabric, I will use this red crepe paper. So it will give texture as well and it will be easy to draw the heart shape on it instead of fabric. Here now I will apply the white glue on top of the styrofoam and then I will make the face shape by using the mold I made last time with the hot glue. So here actually it was a mistake I was doing uh, as I said maybe before that uh, her head was quite small and my son reminded me that her head should be bigger than her body actually but uh, I totally forgot maybe because I have been making the faces and the uh, uh, head uh, like normal dolls so I was so busy in making I didn't even realize that it should be bigger than her body so here I was doing all the things clay face and hairs and makeup and everything but uh, after some time I will remove it the head completely from her body then I will make the bigger size in the same exact way I'm doing now Then again some more clay on top of her head to make the forehead bigger but still uh, it was quite small. It was normal doll face. Uh, first I thought I will leave it like this as it is but then I realized that actually her uh, character was famous because of her uh, face, big head maybe. So then I decided to remove the complete head. I did a very hard job in making this, but at last I removed it. But anyway, it was an experiment for me and I enjoyed it. And then I took black acrylic paint to draw her face features to make the eyes and eyebrows and eyelashes. So it was also quite difficult for me because I didn't do this thing before to draw very tiny face features. So I actually I my hands were shaking while doing this and I know her eyes are quite bigger than the real ones. But this is because I was having only this face mold. So that's why I made her eyes bigger. And then I will draw the eyebrows as well with the black acrylic paint then with the same black acrylic paint I will uh, define her uh, eyes I will start to draw like liner shape and some roughly eye uh, lashes also And here I have light blue acrylic paint which I will make for her eyeshadows. So here I took, I cut a very small piece of heart shape from the crepe paper to make her lips instead of drawing. If you have a small doll face that will be quite nice to make her face and eyes uh, exactly the same in the real one. 
I was having this big face so I have to made it according to this one so here now I took another clay air dry clay which I will use for her hairs and this was also quite uh, difficult to make challenging to give uh, it an exact shape for, and style for the hairs but uh, anyway uh, then I used a little bit glue on top of the first clay then I will start to make the hairstyle with this clay and keep watching you will see how I am doing And then I was using a screwdriver and the back side of the brush to define her hairs, to press them down a little bit, to stick it with the first clay and to give some details also with for the hairs. Then I will keep taking more clay to make the style for her hairs. I will keep kneading the clay uh, to get the shape and style for her hairs and then I will use again the screwdriver as well to give it more style. And then the other side of the hairs as well with uh, more clay. I will uh, draw a tiny mole on her face on this side of her cheek and yeah her eyes are quite bigger but you can say maybe here she was quite angry and she opened her eyes wide but um, anyway it's fine <clears throat> then I took uh, clay to make her neck to stick her head with the um, shoulders part of the body as well so it don't move but as I said, it was useless for me because I have to remove the head after that. So here on the front part of the dress, red crepe paper, I will start to draw the hearts with the black acrylic paint and then I will fill it with the golden acrylic paint inside the heart because she is a heart queen, red heart queen. So we have to make it, that's why I didn't use the fabric um red color so it was uh, quite easy to draw the hearts on the tissues and the crepe paper Yeah, here once I done all of her face, then my son reminded me that her 
face is and head is quite smaller then I took the bigger size of styrofoam and I will do the same thing on this one see I removed the head um, then anyway I will start to color the hearts with the golden acrylic paint first I was thinking it to leave it as it is the small size but uh, then he told me no you have to remove it because the beauty of her body was exactly actually the bigger head so I had to do it here are the arms with the foil which I will stick it here and the same thing again one side stick it then I will cover them with the tissues and the glue mixture as well And in my upcoming videos, I'm bringing more characters and Disneyland movie characters, uh, so stay tuned. So keep sharing, keep subscribing and keep watching because I will bring more Disneyland movie characters in my upcoming uh, videos. So do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to click on bell notification. Yeah, here then I will cover the arms as well with the tissues and the glue. So here I will cover her uh, body and half of her arms like shoulder side with the black acrylic paint because I need to use the black lace fabric on top of this so I have to cover the white part. Here is the same thing I was doing again with the bigger head. Here I use this dark shiny red color for her hairs to make them more prominent. Now here I use the pencil just to hold and work for her face so I will remove it and then I will insert the smaller size pencil in head and in the body part. I have made a hole inside the foil here so I can insert and they can hold each other properly instead of falling down because it's quite heavy head now. So here with the clay I will cover this pencil part. For her neck I made I will use some uh, glue to stick the clay to make the neck and here is this black lace fabric which I will use for her body to make blouse And here is the again lace fabric which I will cover for her shoulders because her dress was like this uh, fluffy shoulders so I couldn't find the same fabric to make the shoulders exact shape but uh, anyway this is fine for me. Here I have white color card sheet card paper which I will use for the collar. Uh, I am not perfect in making color shape uh, so I tried my best to get the exact shape but if you 
now of course uh, how to draw and how to cut the collar shape obviously you can make it with the fabric even but i use the sheet card sheet to make it uh, hard and thick enough to hold the shape Then here I have the same card sheet, white color. I have cut some uh, triangle shape which I will use on top of the collar for the sides. Here I have silk golden fabric which I will use for the designing for her uh, blouse in the front part. And then here I will cut it, I had cut it and then I will stick it here with the hot glue in front of her blouse. Then some white beads which I will stick here on the golden part. You can use a tiny small beads as well and you can make the exact design of her blouse but I was out of the exact material so I did similar that one little bit. Then here I have red color beads as well which I will stick here on the bottom of the white bead. Then here I have uh, golden acrylic paint which I will use for the blouse detailing to make the stripes as well for her blouse or whatever it was. Here is the fishnet which I will use for her sleeves for the arm. And I thought uh, by adding the fishnet for her sleeves it made the doll actually complete the uh, red queen because I, for me it was uh, the most important part because this actually made her looks more beautiful instead of having uh, white or uh, simple sleeves. So as you can see, once I add this fishnet on her uh, arms, it was looking uh, perfect for me, maybe. And here I will use again the red crepe paper for the designing for her uh, blouse and sleeves. I will add some uh, white glue to stick it on the black uh, shoulder and sleeves fabric here and then rest of her arms as well. And here is the golden silk fabric which I will make now for her uh, frog. The rest of her uh, gown shape I will uh, make some plates and flares and I will keep using the hot glue to stick them together. Uh, if you want you can make it by needle as well. First the uh, plates as I did in my uh, chocolate curl video. I made a uh, made 
uh, but for me I wanted to finish it fast as I always do so I use the hot glue to make the plates but it was fine as well so here I will stick it and I will complete it And here I had made some uh, small size of uh, a crown with the cardboard and some glitter glue which I will stick here on top of her head. And here we are done. Uh, I think I tried my best to get the exact shape but only one thing what I uh, wanted to do more for her blouse actually uh, to make it more designing like the movie one. But because I was out of uh, materials in small detailing, so I missed it. But uh, obviously you can do it. And for the eyes as well, as I said, that uh, it was quite bigger. This is just because of the shape of the doll face I took. Um, but anyway, it's quite beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, keep subscribing, keep sharing my videos and I will bring more new ideas soon. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.